Let's bring in Michael Wallace, Republican of Florida and member of the House Armed Services Committee. Uh, what is your take? Do you think the Speaker of the House should go on her trip to Taiwan as planned? You know, Dana, I always hesitate to say I support Speaker Pelosi in anything, but on this one, I absolutely do. She has to go. Uh, she, if she doesn't at this point, with it now out publicly, what message does that send uh, to the Taiwanese? But what message does it send to the Japanese, the South Koreans, uh, the Australians, our allies in the region, that if we're not even willing to go and visit, uh, are we then going to stand for Taiwan and defend them uh, if Z realizes his vision of unifying uh, through military means if possible? So I, I think it's absolutely critical that she goes. And it's just the principle of you know, we don't get dictated to by the Chinese Communist Party on what allies we visit or where our elected officials go, period. And Joe Biden needs to reinforce that in his call with Z tomorrow. Do you have any reason to believe that she would be in danger if she goes to Taiwan? Uh, you know, I, I think the White House is looking at this the wrong direction or from the wrong perspective that we are escalatory. It's the Chinese Communist Party that's escalatory. And I can't imagine uh, that they would go so far as to put the Speaker of the House of the United States in danger. I also wanted to ask you about this. The Chinese, we know that they are, um, they, you know, they spy on our companies. They try to yep. infiltrate our government. This actually, there's a report from the Senate that says that China targeted the Federal Reserve in an attempt to undermine American monetary policy. Jerome Powell said this, that we would be concerned with any supportable allegation of wrongdoing, whatever the source. In contrast, we are deeply troubled by what we believe to be the report's unfair, unsubstantiated, and unverified insinuations about particular individual staff members. But setting that second part aside, although I know that's important to him and to his employees, of course, but the fact that there is a possibility that the Chinese are trying to do this, what do you make of it? Yeah, look, Dana, I go back to Chris Ray, the FBI director, and, and that really historic press conference with the British head of intelligence, a head of MI5, that points to the fact that we, the, the Chinese Communist Party has unleashed a tsunami of espionage and collection and influence activities. It's in Wall Street, it's in Hollywood, it's in academia, uh, not only through the professors, the students, but their endowments. Uh, it's certainly in our politics through a policy they call elite capture. Dana, they are looking to secure and be able to manipulate not only our money supply through the, through the Fed, but our, uh, all of our, um, uh, our <laughs> I, from our food supply to our pharmaceuticals, uh, uh, you know, all of our supply chains, yeah. because they seek, seek to influence us economically and win an economic war well before there's any type of military conflict. This will be won economically uh, here at home way before it will uh, come to any kind of conflict in the Taiwan Strait. And we as a country have to wake up uh, to what's going on from buying up our farmland well, to influencing the Fed to, to controlling about, all of these things. Yeah. I wanted to drill in on that just a little bit because, of course, um, farmland is super important uh, to us, to our food supply, to our culture, to our traditions, to our history, to the people that work in rural America. And the Chinese are buying up farmland all around the world. But I didn't realize how aggressive they're trying to be in the United States, including in the state of Florida. Your take on that? Well, and oh, they just so happen to be, Dana, right next to some of our most sensitive military sites. But the bigger piece is what you pointed to. I mean, they've also bought up uh, the nation's largest pork processing plant. Uh, and it is a key part of their strategy. It's called Made in China 2025 to be able to manipulate key portions of our supply chains. We've got to bring them back home. If we can't get them to the United States, get them to an allied country. And you're going to see a tremendous push on that when the Republicans take back Congress in November. Uh, and I know that you just returned from Ukraine. You had a chance to see President Zelensky. Love to have you back and as you continue to press uh, for the American people to try to figure out a way to help them there. Thank you so much. Have a good day. All right. Thanks. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.